in a bulky cast. Boy, the uh, Bucks wish that he didn't play. Dave Craig, he's, he, he's so covered. Donnie Abraham makes the pick, but Isaac and Jacob also could have picked it off. <laughs> Next play, the vastly improved Trent Dilfer. Look at him. Play action, calm, dark to Dave Moore. The Bucks lead, 7-3, 18-yard touchdown time what happened here for Cox well problem with play action down in the red zone you don't read it right away not a lot of time to correct your mistake there Dave Moore gets behind Cox who read play action slow touchdown for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did you say the red zone because it was a play action fake to Eric Red. then later on Eric Red carries the ball it's a fumble Where, what's going on wait a minute I don't think. wait a minute it's Vincent Smith with the Bears only Dilfer's alertness stops the touchdown they, they rule it a fumble. This was bizarre, Tom. Why? Wow. Well, alertness the right word. Rhett fumbles the ball. Vincent Smith, the only one who knows it out. Ball laying right beside Rhett. Vincent Smith picks it up and starts the other way. So the Bears get a big break. And Dave Craig, who had a bizarre uh, throwing line today. This one to Curtis Conway, but Donnie Abraham this time flag for pass interference. He broke one of the Ten Commandments. Three ply, no, it was Moses. Raymond Harris at 100 yard day, 118 be the exact. That one was big though, and the Bears lead at 13-10. Fourth and 15, under two minutes to go for Tony Dungy. Final shot. Trent Dilford around. <laughs> Thomas. They can't get it. And the Bears hold on to win it, but the kind of 13-10. And I know, you know what that.